In this content you will learn about different types of forensic evidences, the mode of its collection, how these are preserved, transported and produced before the court, after being chemical examined by the forensic labs. I welcome you all to this forensic science laboratory. I hope you will find this study tour interesting. Yes, we believe that that would be very fruitful. During the tour I will be explaining different types of stuff brought to the forensic laboratory, which can be used as evidence against the accused. Before starting the tours, I would like to explain it to all of you, that forensic science provide courts with expertise in DNA, ballistics, fingerprints, questioned documents etc. Can anyone explain an expert witness? Yes I can. An expert witness is a person whose opinion by virtue of education, training, certification, skills or experience. Do you have any idea about the forensic evidence? Believe that the biological evidence is forensic evidence. Of course it is. In number of cases we come across the process of collection of biological evidence. It is highly technical. Yes. It requires special technique and understandings. That's wonderful. Here I would like to show you some of the biological evidences, which are often collected from the crime scene, by the investigation officer. These blood-stained body fluid, hair are the biological evidences. These types of evidences are mostly available in murder cases, injuries, road accidents, and multiple types of other cases. Now we are moving towards the fingerprint section. Fingerprint is also forensic evidence. Yes, it is forensic evidence. All evidence by the courts. Yes, fingerprints are highly dependable evidences. I would like to show you that there are three different types of fingerprints. The first one is latent print. This type of figure print needs chemical treatment in order to make it visible. Without chemical treatment these prints are not visible. We use special chemical upon these prints to make it visible. These are patent prints. Latent print is not visible whereas, patent prints are visible. Latent prints needs chemical treatment in order to make it visible so that it can be lifted from the spot whereas patent prints are already visible so needs no treatment and can be lifted easily one which i am going to show you in this section are the plastic prints these prints can be lifted easily as they are normally visible and can be lifted from the spot without any tape or other investigative or forensic tool like fingerprints on chewing gum, toffee etc. as the plastic prints. We have heard that the fingerprints never change. Yes, they remain the same throughout the human life, and researches shows that they remain intact, even till the decay of the human body. Oh wonderful! Now we are moving towards the other sections, where you will find digital evidences. You are now looking at these gadgets. All these contain digital evidence. Look at this hard drive. Though it is damaged, 
but still we can retrieve lot of information from there. Look at this USB. It has been broken intentionally. We can still retrieve all data there from. These cell phone may contain pictures and movies of the crime which have been deleted. We can retrieve that easily and the same can be used as evidence against the accused. Now we are moving towards the firearm section. Look at this pistol. It is a crime weapon, and this empty was recovered from the crime scene. Through forensic tests we can ascertain that, whether this empty has been fired with this pistol, if it matches, you have a case against the accused, and if it does not match, often such evidences would be of no use. We can retrieve lot of information from a computer, which was being taken into possession, by the investigation officer during raid in a house of a suspect. What sort of information we can get? From the running computer taken into possession. By the investigation officer. This is a very important question. We can ascertain, that who was logged in into the system. The running process. Registrar information. Information about the system. Attached devices. Devices attached therewith. Why attach devices? They can be important if you have wireless attached devices, not obvious at the crime scene. We can also ascertain the skill level of the user and the security of the device. Yes, this computer was recovered in running condition. The operator was highly skilled and the data was secured with layers of security code. Press it. I would also like to explain that Digital devices are mostly used in terrorism cases, like cases of kidnapping for ransom, extortion etc. Can you please explain that how these forensic evidences are collected? Yes. Forceps are used to collect hairs with the same from the crime scene. Sterile gauze pads are used to collect saliva. But remember after its collection, it is dried in air and packed in paper. Can you use plastic container for its packing? No, only to be packed in paper. Now I am showing you certain clothes, blankets and sheets. Saliva, semen stain, and blood was collected there from, these were recovered from the crime scene. Again these are to be dried at room temperature before packing. Such evidences are available mostly in rape cases. Can I ask a question from all of you? Yes, of course. Section is about footprints and tire prints. This type of evidence is commonly used in robbery, accident, decoity case, etc. Can anyone explain this type of evidence? These are the impressions left in the ground when someone walks or runs or drives a vehicle over soil a suitable molding material is poured in and allowed to dry and then the cast is removed and photographed 
That's great. I believe you enjoyed this tour. Yes, we really found all this highly interesting and full of knowledge. For coming.